Data has these traits that I, um, that I felt, which was that, well, no one can rob this from me. This is kind of invulnerable. And I also had this feeling when I was a kid that you could answer any question out there with data alone. And uh, it was hard to have this worldview that basically went, you know, give me enough data and then I will understand. Or give me a laptop and a web connection and I'll tell you anything you need to know about life. And uh, those are things I really no longer believe, uh, but that I believed when I was younger. And um, I think my uh, um, decreasing faith in data as a means of getting insights has tracked with the general society's increasing faith in data as a means of getting insights. Uh, I think data has sort of become like a, like a new pornography now, infographics in particular. And uh, uh, I think it's actually quite limited in the insights it can give you about things. But, but I didn't know that yet, so I was, uh, I, I was a young kid. This was back in 2004. This was the first sort of data project I did called Word Count, which was a simple visualization of the 88,000 most frequently used English words as a really long sentence. Uh, then another one called 10 by 10, which was a grid of news photos automatically picked every hour based on international news coverage and 100 matching words that creates these um, photographic postcards of moments in history that you can browse all the way back to 2004, hour by hour. Uh, this one was done for Seed, um, the science magazine. It was a visualization of science news. Uh, this was a big project called We Feel Fine, which was a kind of search engine for human feelings. Uh, this one was called Universe, which was trying to come up with new constellations for the night sky based on international news coverage. Uh, and then this one was commissioned by the MoMA, um, I Want You to Want Me, about online dating. And all these projects had this basic worldview in common, which was that um, using the data footprints that people leave behind on the web, we can make really beautiful and meaningful portraits.